Tommy, it's me, Lance. Keep your mouth shut there, Tommy, because I ain't got no time to talk. I ain't interested in what you got to say. Why should I be? You don't care about me, do you? You got to look after me a bit better. Give me a fair slice, you know? Hey, Tommy, man, look, hey, I'm sorry. It's just that people patronize me all my life, treat me like a little kid. My brother would do that. Please, man, don't do that. I got to go. Forget about it. The Degenitron Gaming System plays three exciting games, including Defender of the Faith, where you save the green dots with your fantastic flying red square. Cool. Monkey's Paradise, where you swing from green dot to green dot with your red square monkey. That's red. And Penetrator, where you smash the green dots deep inside the mysterious red square. Wow. The Degenitron brings arcade realism to your living room. It can even take quarters, and a strange, sweaty man comes by to empty the machine on Fridays. Degenitron! Degenitron, fighting the evil of boredom. I'll never go to school again! Degenitron! Do you have dry mouth? I sure do. It protects your teeth, fights infection, and oh, lubricates your food. But what happens when you run out of saliva? For personal dryness upstairs. You block it up traffic. Time to fry bigger fish, Mr. Steele. There's a rifle and the foliage to your right. Watch the woman standing on the balcony above the check in desk. She will walk through the crowd and ask someone the time. Must kill that person, retrieve the case, and take it to the location, take down with the phone. See you, Prince, shithead. Stop right now!
Sí, men. Hey, easy, papi. This man's for me. You! You the boy? Oh, yeah. You the boy. I think so, you know. No, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, papi. Look at him. All dressed up like that. What is this? Ladies' night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah. Like a woman. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little very chiquita ones. Hey, I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. What's your life's like now? Kind of like getting a new haircut. Yes, exactly. But Amigo, you're a man, man! Half-wit, this is movement. Watch my hand. Yes, movement. On stage, see? He cannot hear from the wall of Wagner around him. We have lasers that shoot him down, cut him free, free his soul from the bondage of the past. And then on stage, we have snow that falls and represents love in all its forms. The robot makes a snow angel, and we begin to cry. Close. Call yourself a man, man? Okay. Well, I love just the five of us. Please, 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 enough. Five succeeds while robots... If I were opening this with the Orchestra Philharmonica di Jalapa in Mexico, there would be riots in the streets with small children giving me flowers and weeping. Here in Vice City, they wouldn't know art unless it came as a tube of beef jerky. They told me, Claude, it can't be done. 
Vice City is for sun worshippers and Philistines, and I told them no. I told them if I'm directing a work of commercial... You're a little scaredy kitten, baby boy. Go cry to your mommy. To be honest, Amy, they were <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel ahead of my time. The best artists are ignored. I mean, surely any right-minded person would rather spend an evening watching me express the meaning of space as I move delicately across the stage in the dance of desire and denigration than flopping around. Not that. You're a real man. Sucking the electric teat of television. I know I would. God, I mean, what is wrong with you people? God, my hair. What? My hair is all wrong. It clashes with my dress. Zeus, Cicero, Shakespeare, Flaubert, someone, please save me from this hellhole. My dear, you are so ignorant. I'm trying to save you, to save everyone. You don't see the art around you. Are you in search of old Lang Syne's, singing Madame Butterfly on a windowsill, or relegating yourself to a cricket? Mang, you the Mang, Mang! I like you, Mang! I like you a lot! Anytime, Mang, cause you got cojones, and all my friends, they got big cojones! Okay, Mr. Chesterfield, I mean, <laughs> Mr. Magonaut, you gotta hang in there. You're on K-Chat, and I'll be right back. At the law firm of DeLeo and Purex, we understand that sometimes life throws you a curveball. We help our blue chip clients get their life. You got big cojones, amigo. you, my dear. Thought you might need something to make you feel better. So Auntie Pule make you some stew, eh? Come and check me kitchen sometime, okay, Tommy? Yes, I think I can see that now. Moving on. Pastor Richards, in your book, you talk about putting yourself first and how people should not make sacrifices or help those in need. Do you want to elaborate? Oh, that's right. People need to learn how to take care of themselves and not depend on others. If you read chapter 45 of my book, I talk about how being selfish is a virtue. The best thing you can do for someone that needs help is to tell them to help themselves. That builds moral character. Morality, Maurice. There's not much left in this city. Every time a culture has taken on the doctrine of helping your fellow man, we get thrown into the dark ages. Look at Russia. They keep trying to help each other out, extend a hand to a neighbor, and guess what? Every 10 years, someone's invading, burning down their homes, and taking their toilet paper. Napoleon, Stalin, Attila the Hun, all of them. After you read my book, you will understand. I may have been born in the sea, but I'm no dummy. Ugh. Papi, my problem, Tom. Papi, who grabbed Lorema? Roberto, my son, what happened? The Haitian. I hate these Asians. They messed with me for the last time. This, this Asian, we'll take him out. Only we need some backup. I lost a few hermanos already out there. Amigo, you drive good. For a woman, right? This is no time for joking. Come on, drive for me again. Take my boys over there, and then we'll take these Haitians down. If they mess with me, they mess with the biggest boy in town.
Hey, amigo, good to see you can make it. This stinking nest of Haitians, we're gonna kill them all. Charge! Sniper on the roof! They fight like girls! Take cover! We need reinforcements from the cafe! Take out that cowardly sniper! With huge cojones! Keep walking, man. Tommy, we have proved our mental bravery. Let us kill the man who has to and make a good escape. Come to a damn 19 English, he said I did. Come to a damn 21 English, he said I did. Other affluent, well-to-do people. It's that simple. Do what I say, and you won't have to think for yourself. Oh, but I think it is, Pastor. We look around. Nudie clubs, discos, drinking. Do people want to be moral? Can you legislate morality? Can we tell people how to live their lives? Absolutely. Yes, of course I can. Just look at prohibition or, or the cultural revolution in China. We can learn a lot from history. Chairman Mao or Stalin, they purge their lands of degenerates and intellectuals, the scum of the earth in my book. And look at the great societies they built. People want to be told how to act. And most people are idiots, and that's exactly who my teachings appeal to. This lawless, permissive society has no boundaries, and without boundaries, how do you know where the limits are? You have to know what's good and what's evil. Alberto, go to cafe, Papa. senor. Don't serve the snake in the sauce. You're two-faced, Tommy. You're either two-faced or you're a wimp, baby boy. The Haitians, man, they're laughing at me. Easy, easy. What's your problem? They're laughing at me, Tommy, at me, Umberto Rubino. They're doing whatever they like. Nobody does whatever they like, Umberto. They do what you let them do. What? You want somebody taken care of? I can handle it, but it's going to cost you. I know we're brothers and all, but this is business. Tommy. You are a real man, businessman, a gentleman. These Haitians, they have a load of product coming in offshore. Really good stuff. We take it, and we finish them. You take it, and I look after you, like my brother, like my son. I think I prefer the cash to being bounced on your knee, amigo. Until you pony up some cash. You know what's so great about VCPR? It's like a shining torch of cultural enlightenment for Vice City. In these times of darkness, when the hordes are so uneducated they can barely understand multisyllabic phrases like, clean my shoes better, Marissa, or I'll report you to the IRS, or dialectical materialism. Isn't it pleasant to have a patronizing voice on the radio? That's right, Michelle. With the way things are going under Reagan, at any moment the unwashed Huns from the Midwest could descend upon Vice City and enslave the poets and and postal workers and force us to watch your 
public radio station, but you have to open your wallets. That's right. If you pledge at the one... Hey, Rico. Nice boat. You ready? See, Tommy. Now you be a good shot today. My boat, she no good. Full of holes, okay? Fernando Martinez. I think by now you know I am an emotional kind of guy. People stop me in the street and say, Fernando, what the hell is wrong with me? Silk shirt, hairy chest, enough aftershave to drown a household pet, but I still cannot get a woman. I tell them. Oh, oh, back in Cuba, where is that back? What the damn, 90, north, west, capital. You see, some. together these days. Everyone, take your clothes off and feel what it's like to be free of bondage. Everyone out there in Vice City, take your clothes off. If this is the land of the free, let's start with our pads. Feel the wind from the air conditioning. Oh, a breeze is so liberating. Thanks very much. Now, if you could get back behind that divider, Barry, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Thank you. Now, sit down. On pressing issues, we think it is very important to respect one another. To treat each other like we would like to be treated. I want a hug. If you don't like the United States, son, why don't you move to Russia? I don't understand people in America today. They call this a cold war, but it's hotter than hell. Mark my words, any day now, you're sitting in school packing. You're surrounded. Hey, Rico, you want to horrific, unedifying, opportunistic things I have ever done in my life since that whole Rake's Progress lawnmower commercial. I feel dirty, like I just I sat in something. You did. Our last guest was taken violently ill. Yes, well, such is the plight of radio. Rather than grumble like Leporello or a taxi driver about my duties cleaning the back seat, I shall bid you adieu. Okay, thanks, Todd. Next, we have a very important guest who doesn't dance like a weird jerk. We'll be back right after this. You're on K-Chat. Knights of the Road, here's your stallion. The car for freedom. Freedom. The car for... Clothes you wanted. 